Today is gonna be a really, really fun day. I've got a special guest on the boat. First time being out with me, young moose. And we've got a little 1v1 going on. I'm fishing against my buddy, Billy, and we're gonna do best three fish. Hopefully we'll be able to get on some. I haven't been out here in a little while. The water temperature has jumped up like 15 degrees since the last time I was here. It's sitting at 84.2, and I'm assuming most of these fish are gonna be post-spawn. So today's video is sponsored by Mystery Tackle Box. We're gonna open this box up, take a look at what we have. We're gonna use a few different baits out of this box, and hopefully put some sort of limit together and maybe run into some donkeys. Also, quick note for you guys, if you're looking for a great Father's Day gift, Mystery Tackle Box is definitely the way to go. It'll put a smile on your dad's face, and he's gonna be stoked with all the baits he's getting every month. I'm gonna leave a link for Mystery Tackle Box down in the description below. Make sure you click that and get your dad a Mystery Tackle Box this year. So let's see what we have. Oh, I, I threw that one in there. We've got a Weston Magic Minnow which is like a nice looking weedless swim bait. Definitely gonna throw that around today. We've got a Vexen Phantom crankbait. Looks like a deep diving crankbait. Weighs three quarter ounce, dives down to 12 feet. This should be another good option for the day. We have a Great Lakes Agitator. Got that chartreuse shad looking lipless crankbait. Got a Catchco spinnerbait. This is a half ounce? It is a half ounce. That's what we like to see. We've got some Mustad EWG hooks. Big bite baits, coontail worm. So I might be able to throw this on like a wacky rig or maybe even like Carolina rig it or Texas rig. We got split tail trailers. These are perfect for your chatter baits or even a spinner bait. And last but not least, we have the Biospawn Exo ribbon. This is definitely gonna get tied on today and I'm pretty certain this will catch a fish. Moose is gonna rig these up for me real quick and we are gonna get fishing. Billy's also got some GoPros on his boat today, so if he catches anything, I'm gonna drop those clips into this video. Let's go. All right, ladies and gents, I rigged up the Exo ribbon on my flipping stick. Got a half ounce Texas rig weight. I took that Mustad EWG hook. I'm gonna be using that as well. And this is what we're gonna start the day off with. I also have the Magic Minnow from Weston rigged up. So we have a bottom bait and we have a moving bait. The water's pretty clean. So, actually, wow, I haven't seen it this clean in a long time. It's like at least six feet of this. All right, Moose, let's get to it, bud. What do you think? You having fun? I don't think he's having fun. Throwing this Texas rig on my flipping stick, actually. I could definitely throw it on something a little bit lighter. This place has two things. One, a ton of heavy cover that you can't see. A bunch of trees and standing timber down below and two it has really really big fish so i opt to fish a little bit heavier gear here so this rod is a seven six heavy and i'm throwing it on 20 pound fluoro we're gonna rip this worm around a little bit look for that big bite where are the fish moose point them out Oh, little guy. <gasps> Moose, it's your first fish. Where'd you go? Want to see him? You like it? You are one of the most curious dogs, and you have no cares about fish. First fish of the day came out of this tree here, probably in six, seven feet of water on the Exo ribbon. Oh, another one, another little guy, another dinker on the ribbon tail. Moose, give him a lick. Nothing? You don't like him? <laughs> what the hell, Moose? I've got a couple bites on this ribbon tail. Feeling good about it. I think the bigger fish are probably a little deeper. I'm just kind of bouncing around shallow right now. Oh. Billy brought me a couple baits to throw around today as well. Let's take a peek at what we got. Some big glides and swim baits. Might throw this S waiver around a little bit. 
Oh no, we're gonna kill the eruption. Yeah, let's try that. To be honest with you guys, I'm like pretty terrified of moose getting hooked. So. Trying to be extra careful. So I picked up the Arashi Glide. We're gonna try this for a little bit today as well. Back. Not on my rods, buddy. The water is like perfect for glides right now. It's really clean. Since they have such good drawing power, I think I might be able to move a couple fish for this thing. Oh, why did I do that? Why did I set the hook so hard? I just had a fish come up and eat the glide on like the fifth cast. Didn't look big, but still. Oh, oh my God. Oh God, that's like a, oh, it's like a four pounder right there. Just came up for the glide. I see him, I still see him. Please eat it. He's not gonna come. He, he ate it and I didn't set the hook on him too hard. He just didn't have hooks. Jeez, that was so cool. That was like a, a four or five pounder. It's so exciting fishing these baits. Hanging pretty shallow too. I mean, right now we're sitting at 25 feet, but I made a 45 degree cast to the bank and that fish was probably sitting right on the break line in between me and the bank. That's what I would guess. But I mean, maybe six or seven feet is what that fish was in. The bluegill are spawning right now too. So that may be what are keeping the bigger fish up a little bit shallower. So they're just gorging on bluegill. There we go. Look, Moose. Look, there's a fish. All right. Wow, I got him good. I'm switching between the ribbon tail and the swim bait, just depending on where I'm at. And basically I'll throw the glide bait through a tree if I don't move anything. I'll pick up the ribbon tail and see if I can't pick anything up off the bottom. This is the biggest fish of the day, probably about 12 inches. I'm not going to weigh him though. Really like this exo ribbon. So that fish was probably in like 12 feet right out in front of this tree. I bet you there's more. I bet you there's so many fish in this tree. Catch any yet? No. How about you? Uh, I've caught three. All on the Texas rig worm, and then a few follows on the glide. Do you have a moose? Do you look happy? About to throw him in the water. I brought this umbrella hoping that like I could get a little shade spot for him, but he just won't sit in it. Wanna get in? Oh. Good boy. Oh yeah. How was it? Yeah. All right. Good boy. Come. Come on, Moosh. Good boy. Come here. Come on. All right. Good boy. Good boy. How's it feel? Good boy, Moose. Jack my worm. Red Shad, that's the name of this exo ribbon that I'm throwing around. The water's actually pretty clean too, so I'm surprised they're reacting to it as well as they are. This is a color I'd normally throw in a little bit dingier water, but they don't seem to mind. They are definitely chewing this thing. Moose wants it, that's for sure. Every time I cast, he like darts for it. God. Little one. 
<laughs> I thought that was a giant. It almost took the rod out of my hand. Oh, Moose, you spilled your water. They live in a different world, Moose. This place is really cool because there are a lot of really big fish in here. But there's also a pretty good population of small ones. So some days you got to weed through the small ones to get that big bite. Some days you come out and only get bit by big fish. It's a fun place. We're going to try something that we haven't done at all today, which is go a little bit more finesse. Just rigged up a drop shot. I'm going to put one of the big bite baits, coontails, on this drop shot. Just drag it around some of these deeper points. What's up? Oh yeah! Look, Moose! We got another little... <laughs> we got another one! First cast with a drop shot in the coontail. Another little guy. Pretty cool little drop shot bait. I've never thought about trying to use it for a drop shot, but it works. I will say I love this drop shot setup that I have. This is a Lou's custom speed stick. It's like their drop shot special. I got this when I was down at Smith Mountain Lake for the BFL. I also splurged a little bit and got the Shimano Stratic. Such a sick combo. All right, Moose, let's get out of here. Well, we finished the day up and didn't catch anything big, but we did see and move a couple of really big fish. A lot of these guys are done spawning and they have moved deep. I didn't make that transition fast enough and start fishing deep until too late in the day, but it was still fun. Either way, Moose did really, really well on the boat, surprisingly, but I'm definitely going to be bringing him out a little bit more. Let me know in the comment section below if you'd like to see some more trips out there with moose. And I think that's about it. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to click that link down in the description below for Mystery Tackle Box. Don't forget to get your pops a box for Father's Day. Huge thanks to Mystery Tackle Box for sponsoring this video. Thanks again for watching, guys. Heading home. See you on the next one.